following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. Welcome to another episode on Business Best and as usual we will be introducing to you people who have excelled in their particular field in order to showcase their latest developments in their respective industry. Now today on the show we have a guest, he's not a stranger on the show and he's been with us before as well and I would like to invite Ushan Chaminda who is the CEO of uh, Gavesha and also the lead explorer as well and Ushan this is your second time on the show, he's with us on the yeah. show because he has made excellent excellent progress of his business and uh, to talk about his excellency Olivia here and also I want to congratulate you for winning the startup program of uh, the you know, of the most outstanding youth entrepreneur Ushan thank you very much for joining me again on yeah. the show yeah thank you Shanali inviting for you know this event again and for the well uh, congratulations from <laughs> Yes. Okay, Ushan, so I want to know how is the startup going so far, Gavesha? From yeah. last time we spoke, you have been facing challenges, yeah. but now the country is also <laughs> going yeah. into a tougher spot. How is this going so far? Yeah, uh, time is tough, as you know, as you said, I mean, for everyone, but uh, we are keeping up with, you know, doing the best, what we can do for our kids with innovative ideas. So time is difficult, but we are keeping up and trying to do the best, you know, we can do. Uh, Ushan, something which I couldn't ask you earlier in our program mm -hmm. was this the name Gavesha. How did you come up with this idea? Why specifically <laughs> Gavesha? Uh, it's a really funny story, right? <laughs> so, you know, when it comes to startup, you know, we are tech people, we like to, you know, build something and name it, you know, with the glorious names. <laughs> so, we, uh, we started long ago developing Gavesha as a, it was actually a front project, I mean I just wanted to make my own smartwatch those days, so, and it evolved into this uh, particular education platform, so I want a name, so I thought a lot of names, but none, you know, fit into the, uh, what I imagined, so I just uh, thought is, okay, I had a friend, uh, called Ishara. He, actually, he was an uh, intern in my company that day, so I like to travel here and there. So, what we thought of, okay, we don't have a name, so let's go somewhere. We can find a name. So, <laughs> we arranged <laughs> a small tour to Sigiri. Uh, the reason I picked Sigiri was, you know, it's uh, from history, it's really, uh, uh, you know, very known place for great technology, Sri Lanka technology. So, we, we went there and uh, uh, you know, scan to every possible area. So, you know, we went to their museum and we, you know, move around each and every part in Sigiriya. Yeah, this is not the usual path. When you go to Sigiriya, yeah, there's a usual path. No? You just go to the rock and climb down through that part. We just went to, you know, other areas as well. There's huge forest. When, when we go through those huge forests, we see a lot of relics. I mean, like, it is not just a rock and the going path. It's a huge site with huge relics. So, it's a big city, huge city. So I was really fascinated about that thing. Uh, but anyway, we couldn't find the name. So we came back to the home. And next day, I, I just, you know, thinking about the thing, I just really fascinated about what I saw that day. Because unless, I mean, I had a need to search a name, but I went uh, the unusual path that particular day. It's uh, quite amazing and, you know, it's like really mesmerizing. And when I, you know, think about that, it's not the journey, it's like, you know, the destination is not the important thing. The journey is the most important. Oh so it's course. like the Gavashan here was the amazing part and I really love it, you know. It's like, uh, you know, getting much happiness and knowledge in a single thing. So I just want to uh, name it as Gavashan. And so, you know, to make it, you know, uh, show it's like uh, to be a symbol that kids will find out their journey. So, I mean, from the very first day, we don't want to make uh, some sort of education platform for kids, you know, to be an engineer, doctor, lawyer, whatever the stereotypic job. We just want to make an education platform where kids figure out who they are. So, we just want to make this their Gaveshane. Exploring so, their minds. Yeah, that's Gaveshane. Gaveshane by means expedition, right? They have to be a real explorer to, you know, win someday. That's exactly. how everything happened. 
I think Gavesha, the company Gavesha, is like sticking to that moral itself. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you something you mentioned last year also. Now it's not even been a year. <laughs> it's almost uh, six to seven months, yeah. I would say, and y'all are doing excellent progress. Yeah. But something you mentioned, the challenges you faced last year were, I think you mentioned the manufacturing process and also the competition that you had amongst the sop software yeah, developers. Yeah. Are you still facing the same challenges or has it changed now with the current economic <laughs> yeah. situation? It's like uh, we face in the same co uh, problem in tenfolds, right? Now, you know, when it comes to manufacturing, it's really difficult compared to dollar prices and whatever the chain is. Th this one is really lagging. Uh, for example, we see around right, uh, 70, 47, you know, 470 percent increase in manufacturing goods these days. So. Uh, we thought of uh, you know change our model so instead of uh, manufacturing we came up with some something really creative so i mean i can you know in a future questions we can talk about that sort of things so we just change our process and still uh, we came up with something really good we can hand help with the uh, kids instead of going for traditional manufacturing process so you are adapting to the yeah, current definitely. situation yeah definitely we have to i mean that's what we need to do right and as a startup especially you know we are not big companies we need to you know figure out what are the optimum ways we need to survive and deliver what we are we want to deliver to our cu customers so how have you expanded this business so far? How have you adapted this? Okay, so what we did was we originally thought was to manufacture these hardware and sell it, right? So right now we can't buy it with this manufacturing. Because what we're doing right now is we're going to uh, manufacture certain hardware which we can really manufacture and assemble a complete mini lab instead of giving a single, you know, single set of uh, you know kit to you know customer we are going to assemble complete mini lab we call it we, I, I, i'll uh, say it's a complete stem lab stem stand for uh, science technology engineering mathematics now it's a you know world accepted uh, you know term we're using into this kind of education so we going to uh, build a stem lab with a certain cost but we're not going to sell it we're going to uh, allow uh, you know kids to rent it as far as they want so they can have much more compared to the e initial idea so initial idea say uh, we ha kids have to spend around uh, you know six thousand to buy certain hardware to do some specific thing but right now we can uh, reduce the cost the high in half like you can get uh, whatever that particular stem lab for three thousand rupees and you get much much more i mean it's like uh, ten times bigger lab compared to the initial one so that's uh, that's what we did and we got huge attraction so we are working on that one and soon a lot of you know mini labs will be out there with kids that's amazing <laughs> to hear that like initially when you all started it was something else but now you all have adapted into so many yeah. other areas something you mentioned on the last show was about the maker station yeah how is that going so far physical space business are really halted right now it's like you know it's very difficult to happen those things but uh, we had that uh, you know import part import and resale business there it's happening slowly uh, you know we can't you know we can't predict what will happen but let's see i mean we, we're gonna adapt into the situation and we will do the best we can do <laughs> as i All said right. <laughs> now ushan when you initially got this idea to make this product or this gavesha model it was just an idea. Yeah. How did you figure out that, okay, this might be good for a business, for you to become an entrepreneur with all your partners and your friends, to come up with this idea and make it an entrepreneurship or a business? Yeah, generally, entrepreneurship is always about, you know, uh, giving a solution to a problem. At the very first, I want to make my smart watch because I had the problem. I was the, my first customer, right? No, none, no one else. So I built it for me and I really loved it and thought, okay, uh, there are a lot of kids who have the same issue I have right now. So why not give it to the other kids? So that's how the things happen. So when come to, you know, I need to sell, tell something, this, uh, when come to startup culture, a lot, you know, the beginners, especially, a lot of people like, you know, kids, especially young generation want to, you know, get in this uh, startup and build their own company. But what they get, uh, you know, wrong is very, the very first thing is they don't just, uh, you know, find the answer for a burning problem just feel things they fascinate it's fine but uh, being just an inventor doesn't make you an entrepreneur 
So we have to figure, you have to build something, right? You have to be innovative, build something, but it should be really useful, at least even for you, right? If you, you know, we can't, you know, solve problem for others, we don't have a passion for that, so, right? I mean, it's like, you know, doing a business for sake of money is not doing a, you know, a real business. It should do an impact for you and for others. So that's, um, that's how the entire evolution came for us and that's how we realize, uh, okay, I have the problem. There should be kids who have the same problem. So let's go and ask from, you know, audience. We generally use social media. We go and ask, okay, we have good response, then we continue the operations. That's how the things came. And the things changed with the situation because of COVID and everything. We didn't thought to build a, you know, with coverage, you, it's not only about hardware, right? We have software solution as well. So eventual idea is, you know, give a quality education to whoever who love to, you know, learn education from their home. So we have hardware and software. Software came later because of the COVID. So we just, Every, there was every step we took, there was a challenge, but we figure out, yeah, you know, do something. Adapt. Yeah, we adapt and adapt. That's how we came so far. And that's how we figure out this is a sellable thing. So now we, you know, get real good attraction from, you know, kids. That's really lovely. You know, they call us and <laughs> really that's happy about those things. Okay, okay, Ushan. <laughs> I really want to know more about the application now, the uh, updates of the Gavisha application. But before that, let's go into a short commercial break. We are watching Business Best. Welcome back to Business West and we are in discussion with Ushan Shaminda who is the CEO of Gavesha and also recently who has won the youth Outstanding Youth Entrepreneurship on the Dernas Sada program. Now I think Ushan on the first segment you told us about your entrepreneurship skills and also about the updates of Gavesha. Something which I picked up on was when you told that becoming an entrepreneur, first you have to find out a problem and you have to find a solution for that problem. Yeah. Now you've come from a very technical background, you've studied engineering yeah. and uh, do you think people need to study about entrepreneurship uh, skills in order to become an entrepreneur? Like, uh, okay, same questions go so everywhere. Say, it's like, if you want to become engineer, <laughs> you have to learn certain things. But it's like, uh, okay, uh, there's a certain practical aspect to this. So, say, even to become an entrepreneur, doctor, whatever, right, whatever you want to be, you don't have to learn everything, you know, in a book or whatever you can, you don't have to go to every, every thesis and everything. Just focus on a goal you want to achieve. Like say, when it comes to entrepreneurship, there are a lot like management things are there, financial management are there. We can't learn everything and get start the company. I mean, our precious time will be gone. So what the best way I, I personally you know, advise and what I did was, I just start it. Then if there's something new, we're gonna learn for that particular purpose. Reason is, uh, what I learned uh, during this my you know years of this uh, and startup career was nothing gonna happen. Whatever the thing we're going to predict, everything gonna be wrong. Everything gonna be wrong. So we think okay, this will happen, but it won't happen. So we can, that's why in, you can't learn things from the beginning and go and face it. So you have to start it and learn whatever thing you want to solve a certain problem at that particular level. This is a journey, right? Okay, like Gavesh, it's like step by step progress. So once you learn something, it will be with you. So you go for the next phase. With the time, you will be grow in you know in the knowledge level as well as in the experience level. So that's the best thing, uh, even for a tech. On, uh, it's okay for being a tech entrepreneur. Doesn't matter. So technology is totally different from uh, doing business kind of things. So you need a lot. Uh, you need to have a lot of soft skills and how to deal with people. Right now, I started as an engineer in Gavesha, but uh, I don't have time to do any engineering development kind of these days. I have to go for business kind of thing and talk with people. So that's what I did right now. So it's a evolution, right? It's a total evolution. You start from something, you go for something else. You know, I don't know what will happen in, uh, you know, eight six months. You know, whatever the thing happen, I, ha I have to adapt it, adapt it. So, uh, what I believe is, learn things when you want it. Just don't learn things and you know throw it away. So 
that's useless, right? The job. <laughs> yeah. And something that I learned from your uh, journey in Gaveshwar was that adapting. And some people, you know, they stick to their comfort zones and they yeah. don't prefer change at all. And so that's why they end up stopping their business or starting up for a few months and then giving it up. Mm -hmm. But then Gavisha, I've seen like y'all have been adapting throughout, like every single month there has been some sort of change and it's been amazing. Now, um, yeah. Ushan, your Gavisha application, your goal was to make this the number one educational application, right? Definitely. How has that been going so far? Yeah, okay. the unique thing we give in our application is like, uh, you know, Gavish is about teaching technology, right? So what we do is we uh, publish certain fun activities on our application so kids can learn in their native language. So the best thing about Gavish is the unique thing. Uh, it that particular app can sense whatever the kids are doing. For example, we're gonna publish a lesson. We have a lesson to make a robot, so kids can follow those written instructions there. But the nature, you know, as a beginner, we all do mistakes. That's that's how we learn, right? So Gavisha can say kids is making a robot. Now he make a small mistake, but we have developed a technology that it can connect with that particular robot on real time. We have Bluetooth technology actually, and figure out what are the mistakes they have done, and show him, okay, kid, you did this particular mistake. Just have to change it, then it's gonna work. So usually uh, in our market, so we can recognize YouTube as a competitor for us because there are a lot of tutorials yeah. do the same thing to you know teaching kids to uh, you know learn these things but none of those YouTube videos can't help kids at home if they make a mistake so they can't call the YouTube and you know get a support no so that's what unique in the Gavesha so application those are re it's like we give the lab and we give the assistant so you can <laughs> you know build whatever the your things you love allow to build with science. So that's the uh, biggest advantage we have with Gavesha and that's why kids are, you know, getting into this application. What we feel during this, uh, you know, six, it's around six months we launched this application to public. We get calls, right? Every day we get calls and really amazing is thing, thing is that these calls are not coming from Colombo, Candy, you know, areas which, you know, you get uh, resources like tuition staff or these kind of technology. Thing. We get calls from far areas like Ampara kind of areas. Those kids are, wh what they're telling is, sir, we love this program. I, mean, I, I want to learn this for so long, but they are, we can't find the you know, instructor or person to help us in our area. But this app does it. So we love it and uh, keep, you know, they are asking, keep publish more lessons. So now we have, <laughs> have count as a business, uh, we have small delay in, you know, publishing because we are a small team. Uh, but kids, they are asking for more lessons because they want to build it because we have the technology there. So that's what actually uh, made us uh, one of best education platform in World Summit Award as well. So it's a really unique thing and we are really enjoying it. Because, you know, <laughs> When you say that y'all are providing lessons on the application and children are asking for these lessons also, uh, teaching is very critical yeah. so that you don't you know, teach the child something wrong. Yeah. How do y'all come up with this syllabus or the lessons uh, y'all feel that, okay, this is suitable for the child? Okay, uh, so we, when come to uh, develop lessons, we balance, you know, we have few things. Like, uh, we first, first thing, we need, you know, something... Uh, some element they should learn. For example, when it comes to robot, it's not just about making a robot. They learn about few things about velocity as well. Velocity is something you see in the school syllabus. So we we are not covering the entire syllabus, but we use those contents in the syllabus and make it apply in the real world. So this is a, a you know big criticism that's uh, whatever the, our education system ri having right now. You know, kids are learning a lot of things, but they don't know how to apply it. We just want to change it for, with the Gavesha. So first thing, we uh, we get a certain element from the syllabus that is there, and we put a you know lot of, you know really fun part there. So without a fun, we 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 won't make any uh, lesson without you know have fun because kids should have fun, right? That's why you know that's how you know we that's also how they like learn yeah, as that's, well. yeah, yes. that's that should be there. So uh, we think about that small learning element and lot of fun. So those are the main things we figure out and uh, 
and sometimes uh, we uh, get some you know you know timely adaptations you know for our the season there should be something about Different. our the right so right. that should be there so kind of things are there so that's how we figure out we we just think of one thing mm. whatever the things kids can learn will that be applicable for their future so that's all that's sort of you know it's like a benchmark test for us whatever the idea we get we question ourselves whether this particular lesson or the learning element will help them in their future if not okay this is useless <laughs> Right, Dushan. Now, when it comes to these renting apparatus of yours and even the applications, from where have you got the most response from? Is it just from the children or have you got elders also yeah. asking for this product? Yeah, it's like really fascinating, right? Uh, kids call a lot. I mean, uh, next to kids, there are a lot of dads. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, they also want to you know, go to their childhood. You know, they want to you know, build something they couldn't build when they were young. So they call us and get our kids and they start building things with their kids so it's really you know fascinating we are also really glad i mean we also in our entire gavesha team we also want to think as kids you know whatever the lesson we build we enjoy it. we make sure we enjoy it otherwise you know uh, it's like you know we, we can't build something uh, that's what i want to mention in earlier as well if we can't build something that can make us enjoyful that doesn't you know make you happy at the end so it's like don't focus on the money, right? Focus on your re true thing. If you can enjoy yourself doing this thing, that can be really helpful. I think that's <laughs> another good excuse for fathers also to spend their time with children, yeah, you know, yeah. making a robot car or yeah, a robot. Defi definitely, definitely. They can, you know, really fun. And soon, uh, we're going to put some more lesson for mothers as well. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are looking forward yeah. to that. And I think now we are reaching the end of our program also. Ushan, why don't you give a little advice to all the entrepreneurs out there who want to start their own thing? Do you think it's advisable for them to start their own thing now, given the current situation? Yeah, when it comes to startup, okay, the business, good time is now, right? It doesn't matter the hard time or the good time. Or as I said, nothing will happen as you wish right so every there will be challenges every phase so in this particular situation there are a lot of uh, challenges for uh, youth or the entrepreneurs so what i realize is uh, there's uh, there are a lot of opportunities as well so that's why we reverse because uh, instead of selling we we know parents can't afford these things uh, due to this uh, financial issue but we realize okay uh, why not renting instead of uh, you know selling it so that was a problem and we came up with a solution we got a huge traction for that one so doesn't matter uh, you know it's like uh, it doesn't matter whether you are in a harsh situation no you know you in whatever situation it's all is right now you can start a business problems means there are a lot of solutions so as entrepreneurs go and find solutions for them and capture the value that's what you need to do all right thank <laughs> you shan for that advice and again congratulations on gavesha and your expeditions as well <laughs> hope to see you again next time with yeah. some of the updates with gavesha again thank you very much for taking yeah. the time yeah thank you shanali for having us and thank all the best much. and that was our episode on business best tonight and we'll be joining you all again next week with another business that would be interested in you just in case you can watch us on now you can always rewatch on our youtube channel youtube.com slash other there in English. Until then, stay safe and have a good night.